Too many of us believe that smoking is a habit, implying it's easily overcome with willpower alone. While most Canadian smokers would like to quit, a staggering number continue to light up. It's time to abolish the word habit when it comes to smoking to combat the attitude that smoking is simply a matter of choice and to increase understanding of the true nature of nicotine. Dr. Peter Selby, director of addiction programs, CAMH, explains. When people start smoking, they don't recognize that the nicotine inside the tobacco that in the short term makes them feel high or good essentially is slowly hijacking their brains. When people quit smoking cold turkey, their body goes into a withdrawal state. There are both physical and psychological symptoms. The physical symptoms tend to be things like low energy, but the psychological symptoms, which, which become much harder to handle, include low mood, uh, irritability, difficulty concentration, and strong cravings to have a cigarette, including great increases in appetite to eat a lot of food. Nicotine is known as a reinforcing drug, which means users desire it regardless of its damaging effects. An addiction to smoking can be as hard to overcome as an addiction to heroin or cocaine. George Habib, president and CEO of the Ontario Lung Association, outlines why we need to combat the attitude that smoking is simply a matter of choice. Smoking is more than a habit. Uh, it's an addiction. And because of the nicotine in tobacco, uh, people need support to help them quit. We want to abolish the word habit because we want to get at the seriousness of the implications of smoking, uh, especially the cost to our healthcare system, and get at helping people who have lung cancer and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease caused by smoking. On average, smokers attempt to stop five times before achieving success, and only between 5 and 10 percent of smokers manage to successfully quit cold turkey. Although we know what works, effective strategies such as smoking cessation medications and behavioral counseling are not yet widely available to the many who want to quit. Although there are many aids available to quit smoking, most smokers aren't aware of them and therefore don't use them when they try to quit. What we really need to do is to make sure that every smoker who is having difficulty quitting on their own can access these proven treatments that include counseling as well as medications and take them together because they work best that way and also enlist the support from their families and friends and their healthcare professionals to make sure that they uh, get that support and use those proven treatments till they can quit for good. For more information about nicotine addiction and quitting smoking, speak with a healthcare professional or visit lung.ca. Sherry Demetarko reporting.